Hello, I'm an instructor from Akban and today I'll be trying to show you how to use Ganseki underhook in sparring. This is the basic traditional way of doing an underhook in ninjutsu. It's called Ganseki. If I treat his leg, it's called Ganseki Otoshi. If I just roll him forward, it's called Ganseki Nage. Okay. I just move freely, get the underhook in and throw my opponent. I do it in several angles. I can get away from him and then I can make an elbow lock. But this is difficult if the opponent resists. Lock the elbow and break it. If I want to use it in sparring I have to change few things. Today I'll be showing you just one thing. The basic starting position, which is Hoko no Kamae, and allows me to grab his neck and get an underhook in one hand and a half neck clinch in the other hand. I have to keep pulling him so he won't come back. So I pull, I open his face for knee. Okay? Grab his neck, get the underhook in move diagonally out of the way of the jab do not let his hand go over the shoulder he might grab your gi and do a harai goshi or uchimata I can kosoto geri him when I hold and clinch the neck I bend the elbow to make an elbow, elbow block this way he won't be able to pop my elbow and go into a clinch okay I go down with him and sprawl a little bit that's the way. I won't let the arm climb above my shoulder. If it climbs, he can grab. If he can grab, he can get his hips in. So it's, it's not so good for me. I control his leg position with kicks. Kicks are safer than a knee to the face because if he grabs my knee, he gets a single leg head to the outside. So I control the position of his legs, make a kuzushi, and then I can use an uchimata on the near leg or a tayotoshi on the far leg. Treat the near leg, doesn't work out, tayotoshi. All the way, the clinch hand on the neck keeps my distance. Uchimata, tayotoshi. Move out of the way, clinch the neck, kick Uchimata doesn't work out, Tayotoshi. Now I'll try to do it faster. That's the whole exercise without a knee.